hello guys so in this video uh, we will be looking at the next module which is the interaction module in the previous videos I explained about the uh, steps and also the assembly property parts uh, in so if you are new here it's I definitely would advise to go back and watch those videos first and come here then alright so next we will continue with our interaction module in the interaction module you need to you know specify the constraints the interactions uh, between uh, your models that at which point I have tie uh, surface at which point uh, you know I have embedded region for example I have also defined my rebar section inside this concrete but for the moment that rebar are just floating in the backus that uh, rebar does not know that I am embedded in the concrete section so we need to define that so the first thing is that we need to have uh, a connection between our beam and column here so for that we need to use this option create constraint and I can name it as a beam column and it is tie so now it asks me to choose the master surface by the way uh, okay let's just do it first I'll explain that later okay I do not want to create any surface because I already have defined surfaces uh, if you do not know how did I define surfaces again I will suggest to go back to my previous videos where I defined the surfaces for this model and I can choose the surface so this is how this window will pop up and I have the beam surface and column surface okay so it asked me to choose my master surface I will choose my column surface as a master I can also highlight it see it highlight the surface and continue choose the slave surface surface this dialog box will appear and now I can choose the beam surface as my slave surface and continue this window will pop up it asks for some details uh, not ask in fact it tells you about some detailed discrimination method I suggest you leave it as analysis default and the rest of these thing will remain the same and click ok so here you can see it just you know create this uh, interaction at this surface by the way there are two things here that uh, ask you for the master surface and the slave surface so which one should be master surface and which one should be slave surface so based on you know my little experience and also based on previous uh, literature I, that I read they also mm, and they always suggest to choose the your strongest column or whatever the member is or that is either beam column wall or anything but that have some uh, bigger dimension or that is stronger if you believe so so it is uh, advised to choose that as your master surface so that's why you choose the column as my master surface anyhow you can also check it from here in edit you can see that here we have a tie connection and okay and okay so the next thing is that uh, you know it's a cantilever portion we do not have anything here this column is also having support condition here and here but that is not the right module that we define so it only left us with one thing that is the rebar so we will we need to embed our rebar within the reinforced concrete section so for that we again we can create constraint and I can name is at beam rebars and here we need to select the embedded region and continue so now if you remember that I have defined some sets so this is the you know the use of those sets now it asks me to select the embedded region from the dialog so my embedded region is 
because I am using it for beam so my embedded region is my beam rebars so this is the beam rebar so this is my embedded region continue select method for the host region select region and I want my host region to be the beam so I can select beam you see it is highlighted in the pink color and continue and you can leave it by default and ok now you can see my uh, beam rebars are embedded similarly I also want to embed my column rebars you can name it as column rebars so ok column rebar embedded region continue ok select the embedded region this time my embedded region is my column rebar uh, by the way if this uh, you know if you do not know how to highlight there is a small icon if you do not click it so you choose any of them it will not highlight that but if you want to highlight it it's also a good idea to highlight what you are selecting just to be more you know accurate so this is continue select region I want my column okay and okay so this is how uh, we define the interaction for our model that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next video thank you if you are new here i would suggest you to uh, subscribe my youtube channel because i regularly upload some videos regarding abacus and also if you have any question you can type your question in the comment section and if you like the video please press like thank you